Hello friends. Today we will discuss about the four Mahavakyas. So what are these four Mahavakyas? Uh, uh, Maha means the great. And Vakyas means sentences. So there are basically four great sentences shortlisted by the Advait Vedantic philosophy. So what are these? Let us see. These are Pragyanam Brahma, Tattvamasi, Ayam Atma Brahma and Aham Brahmasami. Hope you have heard about all these Vakyas. So why only four? See, uh, though there are so many Mahavakyas are present in our Vedas and Upanishads, but as per the Advaita Vedantic school, these four Vakyas are selected as the Mahavakyas, the great or the profound Vakyas or sentences. Let's see. So the number one is the Pragyanam Brahma. Let us understand all these things in detail. So what are these? The first one is the Pragyanam Brahma. The meaning is the Brahma is the pure consciousness. We'll discuss about it. See what, what exactly the meaning of the Brahma here is. First of all, let us understand uh, uh, th this statement is coming from which Veda? That is the Rig Veda and the Upanishad is the Aitariya. The second statement is the Tattvamasi that you are. The Veda is the Sam Veda and the Upanishad is the Chandogya Upanishad. The third one is the Ayam Atma Brahma. The Atma, the self is Brahman. It is coming from uh, uh, Atharva Veda and the Upanishad is the Mandukya Upanishad. A lot of people uh, con confuse here about the Mundaka Upanishad. But this is not the Mundaka Upanishad. This is from the Mandukya Upanishad. The fourth one is the Aham Brahmasami. This is from the Yajur Veda and from the Bhradranyaka Upanishad. And here is another thing that is type. Which type of sentence are these? Number one is the Pragyanam Brahma. This is basically the Lakshana sentence or we can say which characterize the quality of the Brahma. The second is the Upadesha. Upadesha means instructional based. This is nothing but the instruction given by the Guru to his to their dis disciples. Tattvamasi. So this is kind of a Upadesha Vakya or the instructional based sentence. The third one is the Ayam Atma Brahma. This is the Anusandhana. That means basically in search of. And the fourth one is the Aham Brahmasami. Anubhav Vakya. This is related to the experience. So if you'll see, all these fours, four sentences are coming from like this is basically nothing but the very, we can say the generic. Pragyanam Brahma. The Brahma is the pure consciousness. First of all in this sentence, there is a discussion about that the, the consciousness which we realize around ourselves and within ourselves, that is nothing but the Brahma. So let me tell you the meaning of the Brahma now. The Brahman meaning is the eternal reality, the absolute reality. In other, in other terms, we can call it God also. So, uh, we'll see the difference between the Brahma and Self. Fine. Uh, now, if we'll see the Tat. Tat here is nothing but referring the Brahma. Tvam is referring the Self. Tat Tvam Asi, that you are. The third is Ayam Atma Brahma. Ayam Atma. Ayam Atma. This particular Atman self is nothing but the Brahma. Now, if you can see, we are coming from generic to the more subtler level. This is the this this statement is the subtle subtler than this, this statement. And now this one is the subtler than this, this statement. 
Now, if we'll come to the last statement, that is Aham Brahma Sami. See, from consciousness to self to Atman to I, this I, this I-ness is Aham Brahma Sami. This is the more subtlest, most subtlest vakya, sentence. Aham Brahma Sami, at last I am at this stage when I can say I am Brahma. Aham Brahma Sami. So that's the reason this is also called the Anubhav Vakya, experienced based statement or sentence. So here is another, another interesting concept behind it that, beho that before uh, 1200 years Adi Sankracharya has denoted four, center, four centers across India in each and every direction on the basis of these four statements. So Pragyanam Brahma he has given to this Puri Govardhan center that is in east of the India. The second one is the Tattvamasi that is given to the Dwarka, Gujarat, west of India. The third one is the Ayamatma Brahma that is Jyoti, Badrinath, north of India. Aham Brahmasami that is given to the Shingeri, Mysore that is in south of India. Let's understand the difference between the Brahman and the self. That and the Tao. As we have seen, all these four statements, this one thing which is common, that is the Brahman. Here the Tat means, is also Brahman, referring to the Brahman. The Brahman. The Brahman. So what exactly the meaning of this Brahman is? Brahman is basically come from the root word that is Bra, Bri, that, that means all pervasiveness. That means the absolute reality. We can call it God also. E even the eternal reality. So, let us understand now the basic. The whole, all these four, four statements are nothing but these are referring to two terms. Only two terms. That is the Brahman and that is the self. <clears throat> if you deeply understand or observe the meaning of these things. What are these? That is, the Brahma is the pure consciousness. That you are, that means Brahma, that ultimate reality you are. I am Atma Brahma. This self, this Atma is the Brahma. Aham Brahma Sami, I am Brahma. That means, I am that. Supreme Reality. Now let us understand the Brahman and Self. So, the Brahman is nothing but the ultimate reality, the universal reality and the Self which we understand ourselves that this is our image or, and that is who I am. So, the Brahman, the that is nothing. But if if you have any discussion, uh, any any confusion about it, then you can ask two questions. What is the Brahman? There is a question arises that is called who is God. In the self, the question arises, who am I? And on the basis of this Brahman and the self. There is a bifurcation of the religion also. If you will say, what are the religion? Those who are God-centric religion, like Hinduism, Christianity, Islamic religion. These are the God-centric religion. And if we we'll talk about the self-centric religion, what are these? These are Jainism, Buddhism, and even the philosophy like Yoga and Sankhya. 
so here what is the difference this is this is the self self this is related to the self inquiry or inward looking this is the outward looking these seems opposite but as per the advaita philosophy advaita vedantic philosophy these two are not different these are the same because advaita means nothing but the non two non dualism there is no dualism here is a very very good example of this thing if suppose in in an ocean a wave of an ocean consider or 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 understand itself like that i am that wave then there is a confusion ultimately this is the water of the ocean so what is the ocean that that ultimate reality of that wave is that water but that wave consider or understand itself a something even something fine so but ultimately if you if you concentrate on the core on the core concept that is nothing but the existence of the brahman that water or we can say if there is a there is a bracelet of gold and suppose in some day on some day bracelet will say i am bracelet is it possible but if it will say i am gold because gold is something which is nothing but the eternal reality of this bracelet this is that core element tattva which is the ultimate reality so hope you have understood the difference between the brahman and the self and on the basis of this brahman and self almost all the religions are divided so hope you have understood the concept and the four mahavakyas